Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, lecturer in computing at the National College of Ireland, and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to generate a random sample using Excel. So before we start, let's remind ourselves what we mean by random sampling. Well, it's a basic sampling technique where we're going to select a group of subjects, which we call a sample, for study from a larger group, which we call a population. It's very important that each individual is chosen entirely by chance and that each member of the population has an equal chance of being included in the sample. So this is important to avoid bias in our sampling. And finally, every possible sample of any given size has the same chance of selection. So let's say we have a population of 100 students and we would like to select 10 students at random from this population and we want to make sure there's no bias or anything like that in our sampling. So we have uh, over here on the left hand side uh, we have a column of uh, uh, fictitious student IDs numbered from uh, 100 down to 101. We have 100 students listed here. And I'd like to, in this column here, select uh, any 10 of those uh, numbers at random. So here's how we go about doing this. First of all, across the top of Excel, select the data ribbon. And over towards the right-hand side, you should see in the analysis panel, the data analysis tool pack. Now, if this is not here, it means it has not been installed as an add-in and you will need to install this separately. So I'm going to select data analysis, and this gives me a list of tools uh, from, wh from which I can do many things in Excel. The option I'm looking for is, if you scroll down towards the end, is the sampling option. So select sampling and click on OK. Now in the sampling window here, we have, there's a few things we need to do. And the first of these is to select the input range. Now I'm going to select uh, cell A1, which includes the label, um, all the way down to cell 101. So that means I've selected all my data. Scroll back up to the top here. I'm going to uh, leave the default option at random for, for, for uh, in the sampling method here. And the number of samples I want is 10. So I'm going to just type in 10 in the number of samples box. And my output range is, I'm just going to click in the output range here at the side, and I'm going to select cell C2 underneath my heading for random sample and click on OK. And this gives me uh, 10 numbers from the list of, A, of 100 over here. So these are randomly selected from the 100. If I want to, if I'm not happy with those, or I want to take a second sample, just do the same again. Click on Data Analysis, choose Sampling. Um, my input range is already selected. Leave the number of samples at 10. I'm going to overwrite the existing output range of C2 and click OK again. And it, I, I accept to overwrite the data in the range that's selected, so click on OK. And I will get a new sample of 10. So this is a good technique to use to randomly select uh, any number of samples from a population. Um, this is also uh, a good technique to use if you're a statistician to make sure that there's no bias in your sampling. And of course, you can do this for much larger populations and any different size of sample. So that's how you create a random sample in Excel. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.